Hello. What is up, people? I'm going to show you guys how to make some press text in a pattern. So we're going to go up here to New under your file. And I think I'm going to do a 640 by 400. And then uh, let's just click OK. And then first things first, go to your text tool. Make your size 150. And you, I'm going to use sans bold. And now I'm just going to type my text. You guys can type whatever you like. Then I'm just going to move it up here towards the middle. Come over here to layers. Right click. So I can make layer to image size. So everything's all lined up later on. Then we can do an alpha to selection. So that we can go to our bucket tool. Go to pattern fill. Fill whole selection. Then pick our pattern. I will wait while you pick your pattern. Alright, now you pick your pattern. So now you just want to click in your text, like so. Then go to your filters, go to light and shadow under filters, go to drop shadow, and then set your offset X and offset Y to 4. Then click OK. Now that's going to make a little shadow, which will be which you'll see why we do that later on. Then you want to click select, shrink, then shrink by three pixels, then click OK. Now that we have done that, we want to go over here for foreground, then make a gray color. Then go to FG color fill in your bucket fill, and then click inside of the alpha selection go to select invert and now that we have selected that you go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and then set offset X and offset Y to 8 and now the shadow goes inwards and it really does look like it's being pressed inwards you'll see Now that that is done, we go to Pattern Fill, and everything should be ready, so you can just click it, select, none, image, flat image, go to blend, change your color back to black, go to shape radial, FG to transparent, and then invert it from over there to over here by pricking the first button. And then take it from the middle of your text so that your text doesn't get blocked. And then go to the bottom right corner. Now we go to filters. Light and shadow. Lighting effects. Go to bump map. Enable bump mapping. And then click OK. Now, I think this adds a lot more detail to it. And now while you still have your blend tool, go from the middle again, and then just go down a little bit farther. I like to keep it lined up with the corner. And now, you have your press text. I think it looks pretty good. Um, but now we just gotta crop it. Go to your crop tool. Go over and then click enter on your keyboard. And you are done with your pressed text effect. You can use this for channel art, intro to your video, but it's not animated. Um, you can pretty much use this for anything you'd like, anything you'd want. So if you like this, hit the subscribe button for more videos. Comment, like, favorite, and share this video. And go tell your friends that you can do something they cannot. And goodbye.